Hello again everyone, my name is James Shotwell and this is the Music Biz Channel. It's so good to be with you again. Today, I'm going to solve your musical identity crisis and give you the foundation for a new marketing plan with just five questions. And I think we can do it in less than 10 minutes, so let's get after it. Now, I've worked in music for over a decade at this point, and the most common problem that I encounter when speaking with musicians is that they simply don't know who they are. Like any one of us, they struggle with their identity. And a big part of figuring out how to sell yourself to other people is knowing who you are as an artist. So with just five questions, I think we can solve this problem. Now, it's not going to give you every answer you ever need, but it will give you a starting point from which you can build every marketing campaign, every rollout, and in general, just know what you're doing. Now, let's start super simple. Number one, who are you? Tell me who you are. Not just your name, the name of your group, whatever it is. And I want you to write this down. So number one, who are you? Number two, what do you do? Now, if you're a solo artist, be specific in that answer. Say that you're a solo acoustic artist or a rapper. But if you're part of a group, answer this question as it relates to your group. Are you a death metal group? Are you a pop punk group? Are you a rock band? Are you a glitch core group? Whatever it is, write that answer down. Okay, on to question three, and this is where we start getting a little bit more difficult. You gotta put your thinking caps on. Number three, who do you do this for? Now, do not tell me people who like whatever genre of music it is you make. Be specific, think about it. Because not everyone that likes pop punk music loves every pop punk band. They love a very specific type of pop punk band who fits a certain type of category. So think about this. Who are you making music for? What do they look like? What do they think like? What do they do for a living? Write this answer down. Be as specific as possible. Okay, now in your head, you should have a picture of your ideal fan base. Now it can be whatever you want them to be. They can be aliens for I care, but you know what they look like in your brain. Now the next question, number four, what do those people want? Now, when I say that, I'm not asking to you, for you to tell me good music. I'm asking you to think about it from this perspective. It's the end of a long day, it's 5 p.m., they're getting in their car, they need a song to fit the mood, they go to Spotify, they start searching, and they click on your song because that's the song that's going to get them through the evening. What is the thing that is bringing people to your song? What are they looking for when they stumble across the music that you're making? Answer it, be as specific as possible. Okay, now if you've gotten this far, first off, congratulations, because we're really close to the end. But this last question is again, gonna take a little bit of thought. So if you need to pause and take a step back before finishing the video, I totally understand. But this one is very important. Number five, how do people change as a result of your music? So as an example that we used earlier, it's five o'clock, it's the end of my day. I get in the car, I search for something, I click on your song. When that song ends, how am I feeling? What's happened to me? Now music can do a lot of things to us. It can make us feel sad, it can make us feel less alone, it can lift our spirits, it can help us vent out our rage, it can do wonderful things. But what does your music do? Now, you don't have to say that every song accomplishes this, but let's, let's take some broad strokes. What do you think people feel or what do they feel inspired to do after they listen to your music? What is, what is the takeaway from what you're doing? Think about it and write it down. Okay, now you have answered the five most important questions related to identity that I know of. Now, with this information, we know a lot of things. We know who you are, what you do, who you're doing it for, AKA your target market. We know what they want, which is the thing that they're looking for, and we know what they're gonna get out of this. So again, you know who you're looking for, what they're looking for, and what they're gonna get from your product. And that is the foundation of a music promotion campaign. You know everything you need to know now. You know who you are, the type of music you make, who you're making it for, what they're looking for when they're coming to it, be that a way to vent, a way to feel less alone, a way to get their anger to be fully realized without hurting somebody else, whatever it happens to be. The thing that you do for somebody else, you know that now. And best of all, you know what the benefits of your music are, meaning what they take away from it. So people who have heard your music have said, oh, it makes me feel so good, or it gives me inspiration, it makes me feel creative, it makes me whatever that happens to be. You know all of these points. So now you can make a business plan around this. You know everything you need to know to get out there and promote yourself. So start building with these things in mind. You know what people are looking for, so build your next campaign to meet those needs. You know what people are taking away from your music, so when you talk about your music, make sure you're hitting on those points. You have it all within you, and I'm glad that we got here together. 
Now, with that in mind, a few quick updates. Number one, I started a TikTok. If you've been following this channel, we've been challenging one another to do 30 straight days of TikToks and mine has started. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and find me. There's a link down in the description below. It's Music Biz Minute on TikTok. You can find stuff like what I do here, but in shorter form. We also have a podcast version of this show. So if you're watching on YouTube, know that you can also watch us on Spotify. But if you prefer to listen to the show, you can do that wherever you get podcasts. We also have a blog, Holix Daily. And of course, this is all made possible by Holix.com, the world's leading promotional distribution service, which helps thousands of artists, labels, publicists, and everyone in between share new and unreleased music with tastemakers. You can learn more at Holix.com. Now again, my name is James Shotwell. This is Music Biz, and it has been so great talking to you Again. I'll be back soon, but until then, take care of yourself because you deserve it.